Yorubas call him the Onisha Iyanu, the one they call the one who does the awesome wonders. They call him Alagbada in all his clothing fire. They call him Allah Wakbakwara, the one with the outstretched arm. He's the Awamaridi. He's a source that has no source. He's the root that has no roots. He does not have an end. He does not have a beginning. How can you describe somebody who does not have a starting point? He has never lost a battle before. He sits in the circle of the earth and the inhabitants are like grasshoppers. He can heal the sick. He can kill. He can make alive. He can wound and heal. Neither is anyone that can deliver out of his hands. There is no God like him. He's the Almighty. He's the Almighty. Only the keyboard. He's the great I am. Please lift up your hands. I'm deliberate about that. I didn't do that to waste time. I did that on purpose. To give all the glory. To give all the attention. So no man can focus on another man. I cannot, I have nothing in me to help you. Without him, I'm nothing. Without him, I'm useless. Without him, my song has no power. We give you all the glory. We honor you. You dwell in us by your spirit. We celebrate you. The one who gives us the air that we breathe. Thank you for Champions Cathedral. Thank you for three years of your goodness. Thank you for three years of your favor. Uncommon, unusual, unprecedented. You know, I had yesterday, I didn't have time to do this, but let me do this because, you know, this I would have to fly back. I need to travel abroad. I want you to know that the grace of God on this house is unusual, it's uncommon. Don't clap yet, don't clap yet. So they asked me about Champion Cathedral. I said that if, the, if what happened in the very first year, of this church the growth the explosion happens in some places in five years it still would be amazing news what you've seen what you saw in your first year some people desire it in five to ten years And when we talk about a church being blessed, we are not talking about this thing. We are talking about you. We are talking about your children. That's why, I said, that's why I said we should thank God for what God is doing here. Lift your hands and let's just say thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for unusual favor. Thank you for the joy in this house thank you for the word for the worship for the breakthroughs for one for two for three if this is the third year do you imagine the tenth year imagine the fifth year father we we say thank you we give you glory we give you all the glory we give you all we give you all the glory. We give you all. We give you. We give you all the glory. We give you all. We give you. We give you all the glory. 
are too much oh. I will worship you forever love you forever this time say I will worship I will worship you forever love you forever this time I will worship you Lord I will worship you
I know you know this song, but you see, many times in church, we rush to enjoy the songs. When you know it, you enjoy it, but you miss the revelation. Today, I want you to read those words with intention. What did I say? Intention. Let me tell you how I got this song. We had a worship service in our church, the King's Cup, and a friend of mine, a music minister, Chin Talk, had the album launch so somebody was leading worship so i just laid back because it was our home church and i felt like praying in tongues i began to pray because you know the bible says when for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men but unto god for no man understandeth him how be in the spirit he speaks mysteries when we pray in tongues we download revelation I was born in Lagos, but I can't speak Yoruba. I, I can understand, but I can't speak. As I was praying, I heard in the spirit, I heard Onisha Iyano. I said, what's that? I said, Onisha So I looked for a Yoruba Osha, a friend of hers, a member of our church. I said, Toyosi, what does Onisha Iyano mean? She said, Pastor, it means the God of awesome wonders. The God, say God of awesome wonders. Awesome wonders. And right there and then, the song just began to come. And when it was my turn, we sang it there for the first time. Without rehearsal. So this is a song of heaven. Say song of heaven. Song of heaven. My eyes, my eyes
about this song? How many of you are ready to swim in glory? You are ready. You are ready for the next level. No, you are not ready. Are you ready to break forth? Are you ready to break out? Are you ready? The glory. The glory. The glory. The favor, the favor, the favor, the favor, the favor of the Lord is coming down over Nathaniel Bassi. The favor, the favor, the favor, the favor, the favor of
the favor, the favor, the favor. The river, the river, the river, the river, the river of the Lord is coming. Say the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory of the Lord is All the singles shout hallelujah. There are people here today. By this time next year, when you come for seven days of glory, you will not come as a single person. Are you ready? your pocket as a prophetic sign. Hallelujah. Eh? Hallelujah. Father, as we praise you. Hallelujah. Listen. It's the sound of dollars. Hallelujah. Eh? Hey. Hallelujah. Oh. Hey, let the sound. Let the sound of rejoicing Students shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Hey, are you ready? It's the sound of first class. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Oh. Hey, let the sound. Let the sound of rejoicing. Hallelujah. 
in the midst of his people. He inhabits the praises of his people. He tabernacles on the praises of his people. He is here in this place. Why don't you lift your hands and adore him? We adore you. Oh, we bring this sacrifice of praise to celebrate your beauty, your greatness. Oh, Rabashala Mandeke Labasha.
this I looked and behold a door was opened in heaven and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me which said come up hither and I will show thee things which must be hereafter and immediately I was in the spirit and behold a throne was set in heaven and one sat on the throne and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sudden stone and there was a rainbow round about the throne inside like unto an emerald and round about the throne were four and twenty seats and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting clothed in white raiment and they had on their heads crowns of gold and out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne which are the seven spirits of God and before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal and in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind and the first beast was like a lion and the second beast like a calf and the third beast had a face as a man and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle and the fourth beast had each of them six wings about him and they were full of eyes within and they rest not day and night saying holy 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 lord god almighty which was and is and is to come and when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne who liveth forever and ever the four and twenty elders fall down they fall down they fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne saying thou art worthy oh lord to receive glory and honor and power for thou hast created all things including your enemies for thy pleasure they are and were created holy holy holy
best way to fight your battles this is how we fight our battles this is how we shift atmospheres in our homes in our lives when you are overwhelmed when you are attacked from all sides and you don't know what to pray you don't know who to call we turn This is the sound of heaven. Jesus said that will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. One of the things he said was, let worship be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Revelation 19, the Bible says, they lift up their voices and they shout hallelujah. Every year we go to Israel. I go to Israel with a group of people. We just go around May and we spend seven to eight nights praying in the morning, praying at night, worshiping in the morning, worshiping at night. We just soak in the presence of God. And we've seen God do great things through those meetings. We were there this May. And before the, the morning service, I was praying in tongues and my understanding just opened. And I got this song. And in it was a word. Because the king is coming back. It's not a message we preach every time. We hear nowadays. But I believe God gave us that song to remind the church and to remind the world that the king is coming in glory and in majesty every eye will see the king the king is coming in glory and in majesty every eye every eye will see the king the King is coming in glory and in majesty. Every eye will see the King. Oh, the King is coming in glory and in majesty. Every eye will see the King. And maybe the world have also asked. You go to church every day. You pray, you fast. You go for seven days of glory. 
you give your tithes, you sweep the church. How come you don't have a baby? How come you don't have a job? How come you are still sick? I have a word for you. Tell the mockers, my king is coming. In glory and in majesty. Every eye will see. Every eye will see. First premise is that he's coming back again. Jesus is coming back again. Jesus is coming back again. The world has said, Oh, you said he's coming back, but he's coming back again. He's coming back for a church without spot and wrinkle. He's coming back for a holy people, for a peculiar people. Jesus is coming back again. Jesus is coming. The apostle said, this same Jesus you see will one day come in the cloud. And the second premise is this. He's coming into your situation. He's coming into that barrenness. He's coming into that joblessness. He's coming into that sickness. Tell the mockers, my king is coming. Say, don't write me off. Don't write me off. Hey, the king. say for 10 years for 15 years you've been waiting for this child when will it come when will it happen you go to church you fast you pray tell them my king is coming in glory when he shows up he's coming in glory every eye will see say you give your tithes you give your offerings you sow seed you give first fruit how come your level has not changed how come how come if this is, is true if this is true how come you are still here tell the mockers my king is coming in glory and in family born again and they've laughed at you today church tomorrow seven days of glory ten days of glory and you are still in this level after these seven days of glory after this particular one when he comes every eye will see it every eye will see that pregnancy every eye will see that marriage Every eye will see that promotion. Every eye will see that healing. I want you to sing this song like prophecy. Say, hey, my King is coming in glory and in majesty. My God, my God.
church when will this marriage happen can't you see the people around you are married can't you see they, they even have children and you are still going to church, church. tell them my king is coming